want Haney. You want Haney. I want Haney. I want all of them. Anybody that like me. He know what time it is. So, you want Haney. I want Haney. But let me ask you this, coach. Look like Pitbull Cruz probably going to be on uh, uh, Terrence yes, Crawford's yes, yes, card. Yes, yes. If he just looks in, good, just that's that. Just in case they, we got a pivot. You understand? Just in case they don't want to do the witching up, you know? Now, feeling they don't want to put that, put that smoke. Then that's the pivot move. That's the pivot move. Uh, Cruz. Especially if he looks good in yeah. the upcoming fight. Looks good. Now, don't act up and stupid. You guys just heard the pivot move. They said Devin Haney or Pitbull Cruz. Two. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. That was my little Baltimore accent. You feel me? We got a list two. Coach Calvin Ford said he got a list two. He says they want. Devin Haney. They got a pivot move if they can't get Devin Haney. And that's Eastside Pitbull Cruz. Man, it's starting to heat up. So, Devin Haney is undisputed in the lightweight division. Had a hard fought fight against Vasil Lomachenko. Different people felt different ways about the outcome. Me, I thought it was close. I actually. You know, full disclosure, I haven't went back to watch the fight since the fight. So I did the watch party live, the BWP. Shout out to everybody who came out for that. And I watched the fight live, never went back and watched it again. It was a pay-per-view. And, you know, my thoughts are still the same until I rewatch it. I thought it was draw-ish type of fight. I could see a seven to five kind of either way. But that's my thoughts more on my thoughts check out those old videos calvin ford gervonta davis's mentor father figure and trainer also from baltimore he just told you now credit to on the ropes boxing zeb brooks media they dropped a bomb and that was an exclusive that they got with gervonta's team and they let you know you know we're down to fight anybody in the division but if, if it was Coach Calvin Ford's way, he says he want to fight with Devin Haney. My thoughts. Bring it. We right here. We ain't going anywhere. <sighs> we right here. I love it. Two young fighters, both off of career best. You know, the best name on Devin Haney's resume. Most people would say Vasil Lomachenko, two-time Olympic gold medalist. The best, you know, biggest, I, I can't say best for Gervonta Davis because he's fought a lot of quality people, but definitely his biggest fight did over a million with Ryan Garcia and definitely a huge threat. A younger guy, a guy with more reach, a guy with speed, a guy who's supposed to be stronger than him, a guy who's explosive and was known for speed and power and explosion and undefeated. We know it's always going to be harder to take that undefeated fighter's O for the first time. Now, in terms of last fights, I will say it's pretty apparent. Gervonta Davis, he passed with flying colors and he left nothing to the imagination. Another one, DJ Khaled voice. He got a knockout. He knocked out his test, which was Ryan Garcia, who was saying all types of things. I'm going to knock him out in two rounds and De La Hoya and B-Hop were acting like they were confident that Ryan Garcia could pull it off. So at the end of the day, there was no questions. It was a rightful stoppage. Ryan Garcia, some people say he quit. In my opinion, I thought he probably could have got up. See, here's the thing. When I say that the reason why I classify as a quit is because I'm consistent. And I think Ryan was in pain. I don't doubt that he was in pain. But from the looks of it, he got up at 10. It looked like he can truly get up, but it wasn't going to look good for him. So instead of quote unquote going out on his shield, he was just content having it in with the Neil, you know, the Colin Kaepernick knee, the Tim Tebow. But I think he could have like pushed and forced himself up even in pain, but it, it wasn't going to be his night because we know Gervonta Davis is one of the top finishers in the whole sport of boxing. As far as Devin Haney, his fight was a bit more complex. Lomachenko started off slow, didn't give him as much to assess and work with, and started to turn up in the middle to late rounds. So it was a pretty grueling fight by the fight's end. 
You know, Lomachenko's, the rounds he won. See, this is the thing. This is why people are like, oh, robbery and stuff like that. Devin Haney, the rounds, he won more rounds, but some feel some of his earlier rounds were more quiet rounds versus the fewer rounds that Lomachenko won, he won big. So he got big rounds, you know, namely the 10th and 11th round. Now make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Shout out to everybody who sent super thanks, cash apps, PayPal. I'm working on a lot of stuff to bring you guys the best content. I'm the best in the business. So subscribe. Devin Haney, his fight, like I said, it was pretty tough towards the end. But Devin Haney showed you what he's really about in that 12th round because after having his worst round of the fight, the 11th round, where it looked like he was hurt, legs looked a little bit noodly, he came back in a big way, and I thought he won round 12. And for whatever reason, Lomachenko kind of admits that he took some rounds off, which is foolish because now Lomachenko, he's doing what he's done for all of his other losses, which is cry about it when he loses. And, you know, that's not good sportsmanship. But back to Tank and Devin Haney. Listen, boxing fans would love it. It's a high-level skill set. I've seen some people checked out from Devin Haney when he had that tough fight. Some people that are screaming robbery in the Lomachenko fight. Some people, after that performance, they gave him no shot to beat Gervonta Davis. I made a graphic on my Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me there, at Boxing Ego one And some people had switched up and said that Devin Haney can't beat Gervonta Davis, but he's the man with all the hardware. And now Gervonta Davis's team is calling him out. And Gervonta Davis has already been called out by Devin and Bill Haney. So there's only one way to really truly resolve it. Now, for the record, full disclosure, Calvin Ford did say that they have Pitbull Cruz in mind if he doesn't sign, if Devin Haney doesn't sign. I don't know what Devin Haney's next move will be because Devin Haney has a lot of options post fight with Lomachenko. It's said that he's a free agent and he's no longer contractually obligated to top rank. He posted on Twitter that he had reached out to Eddie Hearn regarding a fight with Regis Progre. And that would probably, that would have to be on his own because that's who Regis Progre signed to. So could Devin Haney go back to Eddie Hearn? For me, I think the bigger fight is clearly Gervonta Davis and undisputed champion Devin Haney. So I would hope Devin Haney, since he said he wanted to fight Tank and now Tank's team is calling you out as well. I would hope that if it came down to it, if it all made sense, that he would pick a tank fight over Regis Progre. And it's not that the Regis Progre fight is a bad fight, but we just know what the bigger fight is for all the marbles. But the fight would likely have to take place at 135, seeing how Devin Haney is an undisputed champ. And we seen, and there was a rehydration clause with Ryan Garcia. So Javante Davis, he keeps saying, I'm a lightweight. This is my division. This is my division. And he's the A side in that equation. So a lot of particulars and politics need to be ironed out. Hopefully fights like Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, as well as Ryan Garcia, DAZN fighter, Golden Boy fighter, fighting Tank Davis have ushered in this new way of, you know, people working together if it makes sense. And I think for Devin Haney being a free agent, this could be a strong possibility that something like this could happen. Let me know what you guys think. Who would you favor? Gervonta Davis of Baltimore or Devin Haney out of Oakland slash Las Vegas, West Coast. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know who you would favor if they do fight. Devin Haney, the undisputed champion or Gervonta Davis as well. If you like the video and you like the value that I'm bringing to you in the world of boxing, subscribe to the best in the business. It's only one click away. I'll be back with some more heat. Subscribe and I'm out. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to you live. Boxing ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. Come